I get in the Erev Shabbos, the Kablan Tzai Rebbe here. <coughs> it's uh, Erev Shabbos Shira. Parshas Peshalach. Titov. Dreis Zachem. Zink the Shira. Knof Tina Sach. We can accomplish incredible things as we recite the the Song of the Sea and the uh, also the the Parshas Haman, all of this is in this week's Sedra. It's an incredible, amazing thing, and we are blessed to have it. So, Bani Shalom should help us that um, we should be able to serve Him and and uh, and accomplish all the things that we can with this very special Shabbos, where we uh, we can fix all the uh, spiritual rectifications that are involved with, with this Shabbos. Because there's so many things that are compared to the crossing of the Red Sea, whether it's making a living, Parnassus, Mezoinais of Shal Adam, making Parnassa, whether it's whether it's uh, not only finding uh, your marriage partner and being the right marriage partner, but also uh, keeping uh, shalom bias. The zivug is not just uh, it's not just the you know you get married and then that's it. You have to work on it. And we need to get to the shemaya. To be able to accomplish anything, it's all by God's hand. And so, so too, something we can accomplish here um, with this Shiraz Hayom. All the tzaddikim say this. And so tonight, we can sing the Oz Yashir. And, and tomorrow, we can, we can do a lot. God should bless us with all kinds of good things. Open up our hearts so we can learn and daven, do mitzvahs. <sighs> Let me know if you have any questions, comments. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I, I was feeling very sick last night, and now feeling a little bit better, but uh, a little bit still not 100%, but, but uh, my wife sent me on a mission, and here I am, almost home, and uh, one more idea about the Kriyas Yamsuf, the, the Tanya, Brings in Shariyichet Vermuna, which is really my favorite part of the Tanya. The Shariyichet Vermuna says that uh, this whole world is compared to the splitting of the Red Sea. God puts His energy into us every second, every moment, every millisecond, in order for us to continue existing. Because the essence of nothing is to be nothing. And so when God created the world to something from nothing, he accomplished something incredible. Um, we have to be very thankful to God for. So we should open up our hearts to serve him with love and with fear. And, uh, and be able to do all the things we're supposed to do by recognizing that indeed God is the creator and sustainer of everything. And the only way that we exist is by God's grace um, at every moment, because the same thing, like the, the Red Sea stood up, right, like two walls, and if that energy of the of the um, 
of the wind that's described was taken away, the, the water would return to its natural state and fall down, right? And it's the same thing that we have here, that if God um, removes, it's even more so, if God removes his providence and his energy from us, even for a second, we go back to nothing. So, so with that, we are blessed to uh, to see God's providence in our entire existence because we wouldn't exist without him so we need to live in a, a holy way because we're recognizing that God is in control every second and if you take a, and, and also that shows us how much God loves us and how much God believes in us and how much patience God has with us that he lets us continue existing even when we violate his directions and his will so God should have mercy on us and continue to have mercy on us and love us and we love him and uh, we should love God I'm sorry I'm rambling. I'm really not feeling well. I shouldn't have gone out today. But as always, have a good Shabbos, everyone. We love you, and thank you for watching.